Greetings, kindred. I am Voivode Maquette, and welcome back to the Thaumaturgical Rituals playlist, where today we're going to continue along our path of the level three rituals found in the core book for Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition, and we are going to work on Firewalker. This is a very interesting ritual, if I do say so myself, and it has to do with dealing some of the, with some of the innate banes of kindred existence. The book states, a painful ritual to perform, this allows a caster to make themselves and even their comrades resistant to fire. How useful is that when you're dealing with lots of different things? Anarchs like to throw Molotov cocktails. Let's just put it that way. Camarilla like to set strategic fires. You could be dealing with lupines who like to use natural elements such as fire as a fight. Or perhaps you're dealing with the dreaded Sword of Cain, who have never shied away from using things that are considered natural vampire banes in their tactics when fighting their enemies. So the, ingre the ingredients for this ritual are going to be a fingertip of the caster. You gotta cut your fingertips off. Now, personally, I would actually say that is from this bend, this, like, second knuckle, downward on any of your fingers. That is my personal thought on that. Um, I'm sure there are other things that other people could say, but I would, I would definitely say that this is the fingertip right here. The process for the ritual is the vampire cuts one of their fingertips off and burns it together with their blood in a golden chalice or bowl. So we are back using specific tools again for the rituals. I very much enjoy that. The idea of ritual regalia is something that really makes playing Tremere worth it for me, uh, which is why I like V5 Tremere a lot better than the other uh, versions, simply because they go into more detail on the rituals and what is needed and it's just a lot more fun, in my opinion. Uh, the system states, make a stamina plus resolve test, difficulty of three, to cut off a fingertip. That little bit of information could actually be taken into consideration a lot of places in the games. If you are going to cut off something on your body, there should be a stamina plus resolve test. Depending how big of a deal it is, such as your fingertips being a three, I would say if you were going to cut your hand off, it would be a five. Like that kind of thing needs to be considered for the rest of the game. And there could be rules for that somewhere. I may have just either overlooked it or forgot it, but I love the fact that it's in there and it's going to be something that I hold in my brain for when I'm storytelling, even situations where there are no thaumaturge involved. On a winning ritual roll, a bluish flame consumes the blood and the fingertip, signaling the completion of the ritual. For the rest of the night, fire damage to the caster is halved. This ritual can be performed on others, but the fingertips sacrificed must all belong to the caster. So... I want you to just think about what I said. I'm going to say that a little slower. This ritual can be performed on others, but the fingertips must be the casters. You can perform this ritual up to 10 times a night. <laughs> Ugh, that would suck. Um, the, <laughs> the mutilation is not enough to count as damage to the caster. The fingertip grows back during day sleep. Well, that's nice. That's nice. So you have to perform it, but it's not enough to count as actual damage. You're not going to take physical traits off. You're not going to take health levels of damage here. That's useful. And the fact that it says that it grows back during day sleep indicates, does not say specifically, but it does indicate that thaumaturgically that everything should grow back by the time the sun sets the next night. Um, if this was enough to cause damage, I would say it heals like ag, and you actually have to sleep and 
three blood traits and stuff like that but it does not cover that in this it says specifically that they do not take physical damage from it although they do have to perform that physical slash mental challenge to try to push yourself through the issue so who here has used firewalker what was it used for did it help a situation because aggravated damage is aggravated damage and it is nice to be able to have that damage from time to time keep in mind when we're talking about having damage you really can't go less than one so you're still taking a little bit of ag thank you for joining me on this review of the ritual firewalker in the our world of darkness thaumaturgical rituals playlist i am voivode maquette and i look forward to hearing from all of you on this subject as soon as you can class dismissed